Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Hamburg. We're going tall for the first time. We just took the province of Stetten because it is an estuary on my home trade node. And I think that's pretty much the pattern that we're going to do for, uh, for any expansion that we do is going to be only the important stuff. Bremen, Ostfriesland, and Schieland are really the only three provinces that I crave right now. And there's no rush. There's no need to get them now. What's wrong, kitty? Oh my goodness. <laughs> One of the cats is under a blanket and the other cat is on top, jumping on him. <laughs> I've never seen them do that before. All right, let's go. We also have an explorer out right now. His name is Hagen de Grave. And he's actually really good because he, uh, where did he go? Here he is. He has four maneuver. And maneuver is the only thing you care about when you're exploring because it, it increases the speed that you arrive at the destination. Anytime you're exploring uh, anything that's considered fog of war, which all this map that we haven't seen yet, this is all fog of war. Anytime you're exploring those areas, they take a lot longer than exploring areas that you've already seen. So moving from this province to this province is a lot faster than moving from uh, this province to this province. And it's not because they're further apart. It's because this one is considered fog of war and you have to explore it. Anyway, so better maneuver, higher maneuver there is really good, really important. We, in the last episode, we flipped to Protestant. So the Protestant Reformation has begun. The Center Reformation is in Lauenburg, which is fine with me. And it's already converted Lübeck, Luneburg, and it's now converting my capital. After that, it'll probably convert my vassal, and then who knows? I am very surprised we haven't seen the third Center Reformation yet. Like, where is it? I assumed it would have been in England or Scandinavia somewhere, but that, you know, nothing yet. We're coring the province of Stetten. It's going to take some time. Uh-oh. Ottomans are going to eat Karaman. Bye, Karaman. It kind of sucks when you're right next to the Ottomans and every single province you own is an Ottoman core. That's just... That's just harsh. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, you can play these guys. But uh, they border the Ottomans? Uh... And the Ottomans have cores on all of your land. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we need to get access over here so we can go walk to Stetten. So why don't we come on back? I guess we'll wait till December. We'll, I mean, we'll wait till January. We'll come back from Austria. Yeah, we'll pretty much be topped off anyway. So now we have wrong religion penalty. You see there where it says heretic religion, negative 20. That affects all of our relations because everyone... Oh, Bohemia went Protestant. There we go, the third one. So, okay, that's weird. So Britain... Yeah, there's the third one right there. Okay, these are really bad spots. I'm okay with the one in Poland. And I like the one in Northern Germany. But I would prefer the third one to be in England or Scandinavia, not in Bohemia. What a weird spot for the third one. That sucks. That really sucks. That means the French lands, the English lands, and the Scandinavian lands are probably never going to be Protestant. This is going to be a very weak Protestant Reformation this time around. Oh, well. Can't win them all. Interesting that Bohemia has gone Protestant. That means he's a potential ally right now. Also, it's stack up time. Let's do it. So we need one more tech, and then we'll take this idea. And with those, we might be able to reach someone like the coast of Greenland, maybe, with a, a colonial range advisor. And the same thing applies to a Newfoundland here. We might be able to reach Newfoundland with a colonial range advisor. Once we get tech nine and the 50% uh, bonus, what is it called? Overseas exploration bonus, 50% range. I think we might have enough range. We'll see. So I'm immediately going to get relations up. Well, let me get access with the Teutons first. And then I'm immediately going to get relations up with Bohemia because I want Bohemia to be my new ally. We're going to start using him to beat up on people because we're going to have to break our alliance with the Teutonic Order at some point. And uh, that's probably going to be sooner rather than later. Because the Teutons have these three cores that my vassal, these are three cores of my vassal. So obviously we need that. There we go. So all of our lands are now Protestant. Where is the center going to convert next? Oh, it's going to go to Magdeburg. Cool. I'm not Magdeburg. Uh, Mecklenburg. 
Yep, convert my neighbors. Nice. Now that we have access, I'm going to move my army to Stetten. We can get rid of those pesky rebel risk. Yeah, 21%. Ugh. Here, fund the army. That'll help. A fully funded military will lower the revolt risk. You can see the revolt risk is now 21.2. Check out what it is once our army arrives. 18.4. So it went down by about three. That's not bad. Okay, we explored the waters of Sevilla. Who's next? Waters of Safi. Sounds good. That should include this sea tile and pro actually probably only this one sea tile. The waters of Safi. Oh, we can see the Azores. Hello. So right now we are fully focused on Diplo points. We, we're getting as many Diplo as we can, and we're probably going to keep our leader again as soon as that time comes around. Was it 1508? So next year, we're probably going to keep him again. Saxony will give Brunswick war reps. Saxony will break his alliance with Frankfurt. So even though Saxony had Brandenburg, I mean not Brandenburg, Brunswick. Saxony had Brunswick 100% sieged. All of this province sieged down. Saxony rivaled me, that's fine. He had all of Brunswick sieged. He still lost the war. Because Brunswick was able to turn it around. That was amazing. I thought for sure he was going to like take you know these two provinces down here. But he didn't do it. He did not do it. Alright, we're improving relations with Bohemia. Uh, who else is going to go Protestant? Poland might go Protestant. Yeah, Poland's probably going Protestant. Let's improve relations. And they're not even rivals. Bohemia and Poland are not even rivals. So we might as well be allies. Yeah, if we're going to turn on the Teutonic Order, we might as well use Bohemia and Poland as my wrecking ball. He's allied to Mecklenburg, Muscovy, and Livonian Order. Well, Muscovy is the only scary one there. Okay, exploration finished. And I think that's all the exploration we can do for now. Yeah. So we have to wait until Tech 9 to unlock some more exploration. It's just about our colonial range. That's the only thing affecting it right now. So for now, go to patrol Lubeck. It's all good. Ooh, that's nice. What's our force limit? Oh, we're already over. All right, we'll wait. Can we afford a level two? Yeah, we can. Done. I mean, just barely, but it's totally worth it. That's one extra Monarch Point a month. One extra bird mana. Let's fast forward here. Hmm, that's max relations with Poland. Ugh. I kind of thought after taking Pomerania's capital that we wouldn't be able to keep him as a rival, but apparently we're still able to keep him as a rival. I was kind of hoping to put the Teutons as a rival. Or Brunswick. But that didn't happen. And I really want to get my power projection over here, but there's no rush, and we're still waiting for our exhaustion to come down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright, so who's going to be my next... Diplomatic buddy. Let's go to France. France. Everyone's voting Austria. Even Bohemia. Wow. Oh, right. Because Bohemia can no longer vote for himself. He was voting for himself, but he can't anymore because the empire is currently Catholic. So you can only vote for Catholic nations. Muscovy has declared war on Kazan. Okay. And Brandenburg, my vassal, has gone Protestant. Good job. Good job, Brandenburg. Good choice. Austria next Baden. Okay, that's fine. Switzerland declared war on Milan. Really? Wow, Switzerland's got some good allies. But Milan's huge. I don't know if... I don't know if Switzerland can beat Milan. And wow, look at look at Castile powering through Portugal and Aragon at the same time. This is very unusual. Usually, Aragon and Portugal, are, when they combine, they're usually able to beat 
Castile. Not this time. Okay, we're going to keep him again. It's election time, and Syndic Jeremiah's Volmer, he's suited us quite well. We're going to keep him again, which is going to improve everything by plus one, plus one, plus one. Let's do it. Give me 50 Diplo. Oh, we got military again. That's okay. Very nice. He's now a 363. Lose stability or don't lose stability? Um, don't lose stability. <laughs> what a hard choice. Hey, we accept Pomeranian culture now. <laughs> really? One province is enough to accept their culture? Wow. Amazing. Which means I am completely okay with nomming on this Pomeranian culture region. I'm okay with that. Besides, it's all on the Lubeck node anyway, so we might as well. But there's no rush. There's no rush. Saxony went Protestant. This is good. Lots of my neighbors going Protestant. We're going to have like a little Protestant shell up here. Try to protect us from the Catholics. Those crazy Catholics. Max relations with France. Okay. Stop trying to go wide, Shen. I'm not trying to go wide. It's just what comes natural. Trust me, I'm being very, very patient. I am not being wide. If I was wide... Can you imagine if I was going... If I was actually going wide? We would have had so much land by now. I am not going wide, my friend. I'm... I, oh, good. My province is converting. I am a patient boy. So once this converts, it's going to... Revolt risk should go down again. Oh, yeah. It dropped by six. I like it. We're probably still going to get rebels there, but at least the revolt risk is much lower. Yeah, this is a very weak reformation. Very, very weak. Do I even want to keep relations up with mates? Yeah, I might as well. Austria has a regency. That's fun. Oh, oh, Aragon has started to turn, turn things around. He's now invading Castile. Okay, this is what I like to see. I like to see some competition over here. Portugal's pieced out of the war, though, so it's just Aragon to Castile now. I'll see what happens. And, oh my goodness, look at Milan get wrecked by Switzerland. Hey, I like it. What's our truce up with you guys? 18, 18, nine years? I don't want to wait nine years. Well, we're going to have to wait a little while for our exhaustion to come down, but I'm not going to wait nine years. Well, I will for him, but I'm not going to wait nine years on Verden. What I have to do is make the decision of, are we going to eat Verden? And that really depends on, are we going to form the nation of Westphalia? Well, we'd have to break out of the HRE first. And we would have to uh, move our capital. But it's tempting. I would love to form like Hanover, but Hanover, you have to be a monarchy, and we're not a monarchy. Stupid restrictions. Why do you have to leave the HRE to form Hanover? Come on. It's silly. Idea time, but I believe we're going to tech up first. Yeah, we're going to tech up first. Denmark has rivaled us, okay? Denmark's embargoing us. Oh, I can embargo him back. If only I could rival him. him. Norway's embargoing us. I'm surprised that Sweden's not trying to get independent here. He's loyal to Denmark. Are you kidding me? Milan will cede Graben into Switzerland. Milan will give Genoa to Genoa. And war reparations. Okay, so Milan lost two provinces. He lost Graben, which I believe starts the game as Swiss anyway. And he also lost Genoa which starts the game with Genoa. So Milan basically just lost two of his conquests. Poor Milan. Poor, poor Milan. Do 
Do I care what Mecklenburg thinks? Yeah, I do. I'm trying to decide if I want to keep these allies, and I guess I do for now. Oh wow, Cologne's a one-province miner? He sure is. Huh. Poor Cologne. He's gonna get eaten by mates. Bye! Aragon will cede Messina, Palermo, and Syracuse. Naples. Ah, so Naples took the island of Sicily, I see. Burgundy will cede Artois and Picardy to England. Oh. Yep, England took these two from Burgundy. So England now has a presence back on mainland Europe. Good job, England. It's like they traded places with France. France took Cornwall, England took Picardy. Hmm, why not? Why the hell not? If I'm going tall, why am I going colonization? Because I want to have a source of income other than the few provinces that we have here in Europe. Ashanti became a protectorate of Castile. Okay. Kazan will cede a whole bunch of land to Muscovy. Wow. Muscovy, big. Denmark gets a claim on Lauenburg. Okay. Oh, rip Cologne. Cologne's dead. Cologne's dead. Oh, my ally got bigger. Good. Big ally, big. Big ally, good. Big ally, strong. And the Teutonic Order relations are really, really low. A lot of that's because we border them. And if you border someone of a different religion, it's negative 40 to your relations. But maybe... Just maybe, if we flip enough of his provinces, maybe he'll flip religions. That'd be great. Ah, look at that. Bremen's getting converted for us. Nice. It's like, hey, why don't you come over here and take this province? I'm, I'll convert it for you. Okay, there's Tech 9. We might be able to explore again. Let's see. Where's my dude? Where's my dude at? Where am I dude at? Yeah, there we go. So this, since we hit tech nine, we got a little bit more range. Let's explore the waters of the Amazon, the waters of Chesapeake Bay, or the coast of Hudson Bay. Let's do the coast. The coast will uncover some provinces and that might be enough to colonize. We'll see. If not, then we'll have to look some more, look elsewhere. Do you think we're going to see a Teutonic Prussia? It's possible. They have Berlin, which is pretty much all you need. Oh no, he died. No, but he was so young. He died at 42. What? Ugh. That's way too young to die. I need his points. That 363 is so good. Way too young to die. All right. Darn it. That's two less Monarch points per month. Oh, well. Come on, then. Discover. There you go. Oh, was that it? Was that the entire... Yeah, that was it. <laughs> One province. Okay. Waters of the Amazon. You got it. Waters of the Amazon is this northern coast of Brazil. And we'll see if we can colonize any of that. What is the range down here anyway? 529. Yeah, it's the same distance. So the distance to Brazil is the same distance as to Newfoundland. But um, Greenland might be a little closer. 467. No, it's probably about the same. We'll see. Our current range is what? 325? Yeah, 325. All right. Hey, our exhaustion's almost gone. That's good. And we have a diplomat. Let's talk to Muscovy. Oh, what's this? We can pick an aspect of faith. Okay, so as when you go Protestant, you get to choose up to three aspects of faith. And what's cool about it is you just constantly generate these power points. And once you get 100, you can pick an aspect of faith. And they don't spend any of your power points. You just keep generating them. And every time you get 100 points, you can choose a new one of these things. You can choose like settler increase, cheaper ideas, 
uh, lower revolt risk, Republican tradition. We're probably going to do the Republican tradition. That's really good for us. Uh, cheaper ideas would be nice as well. And then the settler increase sounds good. Uh, there's probably a development one. As, yeah, development as well. So once we start developing our lands, which should be part of the focus of this series, is developing our lands as a tall nation. Once we do that, then we're going to want to have this on all the time. But for now, why don't we start off with Republican tradition? Because that's going to help me right away. So here we go. You can see right here we're getting a base value of one per year. And uh, because we are Burger Republic, we get another 0.5. Power projection gives us a little bit. And legalized divorces right here gives us a little bit more. So yeah, being Protestant, we can legalize divorces. How about that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Mainz has declared war on Saxony. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. And my ally Mecklenburg has joined against Mainz. Mainz is going to bring in Bohemia, Hom Bohemia, Gelray, and Aachen. All right, let's see here. Saxony, you're my rival, aren't you? I mean, I'm going to join because it's my rival. I kind of have to. But I kind of feel like... Yeah, yeah, I might as well join. I'm already funding my troops anyway. Oh, I'm going to have to fight Mecklenburg? I don't want to fight Mecklenburg. Gosh darn it. Dag nabbit, damn it. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Austria joined the war? You're allied to Austria? You're not allied to Austria. Mainz, you idiot. You've declared war on Austria. I can't join this. I seriously cannot join this. I'm not going to fight Austria. You're out of your goddamn mind. No. I am not fighting Austria. Get out of here. I, I am the best ally ever, but you can't make me fight Austria. No. 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 Unless Austria's in like five wars? No, it's his only war. How many troops does he have? He's got 40,000 troops. I'm sorry, Mainz. No. So say goodbye to power projection and say goodbye to prestige. Yep, we just lost 20 power projection because we didn't honor a call against our rival. Ah, oh, that's brutal. Now we're not getting that plus one, plus one, plus one to our monarch points. God damn it, Mainz. You, sh you little shitter. Who does that? Who declares war on Austria? God damn it. <sighs> okay. So come on home and let's find a new ally because, yeah, that's not going well. Cancel access in Mainz. Let's see if we can ax let's see if we can ally Bohemia or something. No? Poland? Not quite. All right, just go top off the Teutons, but we do need another ally. Muscovy's looking possible. Well, not really. Such a long way away. That's the problem. Force limit has gone up by one. I think it should be a cavalry. I'm not going to build cannons just yet. We'll build a token cannon once we have... Let's say... Let's say once this number for our limit goes up to 15, then I'll build one cannon. Don't get me wrong, cannons are great, but they are very expensive to upkeep. And I don't want to just throw money away. Alright, so we're back from us. We're back from the Amazon. Let's see if we can explore the coast of the Amazon. That'd be nice. Come on, dock up. Dock up. Yeah, the coast of the Amazon. That's what I want to see. I want to see what the range is to all these provinces down here. We might be able to colonize some of this. Maybe. Maybe. Once we get the next idea. We'll see. Oh, that sucks. I couldn't join that war. That really, really sucks. All right, what's the range? 523, 520, 523, 525. 530. So 520 seems to be the closest. 540. Five, four, oh, 495. 495. Yeah, okay. So this might be possible up here, the Guyana coast. 
back from the Teutons. Uh, let's talk to Sweden. Oh, we already did. Independence? No, he doesn't want it. England, maybe. But you're not going Protestant. Who's going Protestant? Saxony. Hmm. Poland is actually converting the provinces back. Wow. Huh. Wallachia might go Protestant. Croatia might go Protestant. Or oh, Ragusa. Yeah, look at this. The Center Reformation from... It doesn't say where we're from. One of the centers is sent, dude, all the way down here to convert. Like, I get converting Bohemia. I get converting Bremen. Why did it convert Cologne? That's such a far away province. I mean, I'm okay with it. It's just weird. It's like, yep, just random province. And then this one? That's so random. Hmm. Oh, well. Uh, let's get relations up with someone who matters in this area. Austria. Wow. Plus 88 relations and it's still crap. Yeah, just go top them off. Anyway, what's the distance down here? What's the distance? Talk to me. It is 524, 500, 496. So these are the closest provinces right here. 495 and 496. These look very reasonable. There's not that many natives either. So we probably just send one dude. One dude. Mainz will give Munster to Munster. Mainz will give Koblenz to Triate. That was a quick war. I mean, Austria joined it, so of course it was a quick war. What is Chesapeake Bay? Sounds good to me. Oh, Mainz, you silly goose. You silly, silly goose. So he lost two provinces. It wasn't the end of the world for him. He's still strong, but he lost Koblenz, which was 10 developments, and he lost Munster, which is 12. So he lost 22 developments in one war. That's got to suck. Okay. So are we ready for our war over here? Our exhaustion's almost gone. And he, oh, he's in a war. Oh, this is good. Defending against Haino. Yeah, this is good. He's already in a war. So let's see, who would join on his side? Just Brabant. And how many troops does Brabant have? Brabant. 2,000. Yeah, we're good. Let's do it. Although these, let's let the rebels spawn first because they're at 90%. You know, they may not even spawn. The revolt risk here is only 1%. They may not even spawn. Yeah, now would be a good time to go over here. Venice will give Ragusa war reps. Oh, cool. Now would be a good time to go get them because they're already in a war and only one of his allies would join. Oh, well, now they're both join. Well, fuck me. How many troops does Munster have? It wouldn't have mattered. He would have joined like right away anyway. Munster, he's got six. See, so, yeah, I, I would need my whole army for that. Ah, there we go. Sweden wants independence. Uh, I'm willing to help him, but he needs to get some other support first. Like, I can't be the only one helping him. If, if like, Muscovy wants to help him, I'm in. I, I'm in. But no, I can't be the only one. Poland. Yeah, work on Poland. All right, come on. Spawn, you little rebels. Spawn, you little shits. Revolt risk is still dropping. When is the unlawful territory going away? 16, 15, 16. Four years for unlawful territory. Eh, that's a long time. That is a long time to wait, my friends. Yeah, look at this. It's just randomly coming down here to Württemberg for some reason. I don't know. Really random province conversions. Altmar? That's just my vassal. I don't care. Let's get relations with Lithuania and England. France declared war on Aragon. Bye, Aragon. Goodbye, Aragon. Oh, he's dead. He's fucking dead. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Teutons broke their alliance with us. Uh-oh. 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 Bad. 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 Uh-oh. Uh-oh.
I'm not sure what to say at this point. That's bad. That's real bad. But we got new soldiers. We get, let's see, Kondota? Yeah, Kondota. Uh, we are tech ahead of him, which is fantastic. But I'm a little concerned now. We, we lost two of our allies. We're sitting at, we have one ally. And he's, he's a small dude. It's just this guy. Just Mecklenburg. Mm, Mecklenburg has not even converted to Protestant yet. We gotta get Bohemia on our side, dude. We get Bohemia on our side, we might be okay. But um, that's, that's just not possible yet. Poland would be nice. France would be nice. Austria would be great. You know, Oldenburg wants an alliance. He's he's not super weak, is he? How many troops does Oldenburg have? Eight. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take an alliance with anyone. Literally anyone. Okay. Uh, who else can I ally? Like, no one. I think Alnholt might be okay, but he's got to flip to Protestant first. Or it ain't going to happen. Oh, you stupid rebels just spawn already. Is it time? Yeah, okay. I guess it's time. Why don't we end on that happy note that we're losing all of our allies? Yay! I will see you guys next time. Is that Castile in New York? Castile's already in North America. Holy shit. I'll see you guys next time where we continue exploring and we'll see if we can't start the colonization effort. Once we get to 400 Diplo points, we're going to hit this button right here for overseas exploration. And that might give us the range to colonize something. Maybe one of these provinces. Par Demerara and Paramibo. Pomaribo is just a little bit closer than the rest of all these provinces. I mean, it might be enough. We're going to go from 325 to 400 and something. And then if we can find a colonial range advisor, that might be enough. Just got to keep firing people. We'll check that out next time. Have a good day.